We begin with a teenage woman now hospitalized after being shot in River North this morning. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live at the scene and Sabrina, what do we know about this investigation so far? Hi, Dana, not much so far. We do know that this happened around 5 o'clock this morning. That teenage girl was parked here along State and Ohio streets. She's in stable condition, but I want to show you video of what it looked like around 5 o'clock this morning. You can see her minivan parked there inside police tape as officers search the perimeter and the surrounding flower beds just along Ohio. We do know what happened, like I said, after 5 o'clock this morning. Police, they didn't tell us if there was any argument that led up to the shooting or what happened beforehand. But they did say that that 19 year old heard shots and then realized that she was hit in her back. She was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital for treatment. This latest shooting, though, is just an example of a larger trend that we've been monitoring for the past few months, an uptick of crime here in River North. As of CPD's latest Comstat data, which is released last Sunday, shootings in District 18, that includes River North, are up 62% this year compared to last. 21 shootings they count as of Sunday. By this time last year, 34 this year so far. And if you include the latest shooting yesterday or this morning, rather, that makes at least 35. In this case, the Chicago Police Department have not yet made any arrests. Again, that 19 year old is stable and is expected to make a full recovery. We're live in River North. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. All right, Sabrina, thank you.